I'm going to mix a solution of weak acid and weak base. The question I have is, mixing equal concentrations and equal volumes of solution 2 and 4, the weak acid, HAC, the weak base, NH3, will the resulting solution be acidic, neutral, or basic, and will it have a lot of ions in solution and give a bright light, a few ions in solution give a weak light, or no ions in solution, and no light. Think about that for a minute and make a selection for both. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. First, the relative pH, A. pH will be acidic since HAC is a stronger acid than NH4+. B. The pH will be neutral since it's a mixture of an acid and a base of about equal strength. And C. The pH will be basic since NH3 is a stronger base than AC-. Let's look at the ionic strength. A, there'll be a bright light because of all the ions in solution. B, a weak light because the system is neutral. Or C, a dim light because the reaction goes to completion. Think about all those and make another selection. Let's mix a weak base and a weak acid of equal concentration and equal volume and look at the change in pH and the ionic strength. So we can actually do the experiment. Here I have the weak acid, HAC, acetic acid, the weak base, NH3, ammonia. I'll mix them, equal concentrations, equal volumes. And you can see the pH goes to about neutral. Now, this is actually interesting. The reason this goes to about neutral is HAC has a Ka of about 10 to the minus 5. The base, ammonia, NH3, has a base strength that's about the same. So, in fact, they're very close. So having an equal strength weak acid and weak base gives you about a neutral solution when you mix them. Now, what about the conductivity? We have neutral solution. Will there be a lot of ions, a few ions, or all the ions consumed? Let's have a look. Here's my conductivity meter, qualitative, bright light, dim light, or no light. Bright light. Now that's interesting. Weak acid and weak base by themselves produce a small amount of ions. When I mix them together, a lot of ions are produced in solution. So in this case, I have NH4 plus and AC minus ions in high concentration. The correct answer here is neutral and bright light. Now, I can look at that in a little different way. Here's the HAC reaction. And here's the NH4 plus NH3 reaction. So I have Ka1 and Ka2. So two acids reacting in solution. I have all the right components. I have NH3 ions and HAC ions going to be mixed together. When I mix them together, I'll reverse this. So K2 is 1 over Ka2 now. And now I have a direct mixing of these two solutions, the HAC and the NH3. What's the size of the K? If the K is large, then ions will be favored over this side, which has fewer ions. So let's go ahead and do that. I add these two. I get HAC plus NH3 goes to NH4 plus and AC minus. The relative K is the product of these two Ks. So Ka1 over Ka2. And it's the K for acetic acid, 1 times 10 to the minus 5. The Ka for NH4 plus, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10, very much smaller Ka2, smaller denominator 
This k is around 10 to the fifth, 10 to the plus 5. This k is very large. So when you mix these two, the reaction favors the products and forms a lot of ions. And indeed, I see favoring the products a lot of ions in solution and a very bright light.